previously on the season. I actually got to a point where it's just like, okay, we actually might lose this if we don't really shape it up. Tell Mason he's got to get that. He can't wait for Lockie to get back. Let's go, boys. Heads in the game. You, John, give it, give it! I think that it will hopefully inspire other BBC teams in the future to know that they can actually do it. You know, now the, the monkey's off the back, I guess. This victory is almost just like a fresh start for the college. We still worked hard for it. There's no doubt that we didn't play good footy. We didn't play against bogey teams. All the other teams were really good. It's been important for, for the school to win this and hopefully go on to many more victories in the future, not just in first 15, but in all different age groups and all different sports. We've been very competitive over the years, but just to really crack that premiership um, has made a really significant difference this year. It's a bit like the four minute mile, I guess. You know, once, once it was finally cracked, then everybody was, you know, on a roll. And I think it's going to have a little bit of an effect like that in my mind that, you know, we can do it. Boys have that confidence to know that you know we're not just looking a long time back. Nothing comes without hard work and I reckon that we had that hard work and that trust in each other that we're going to put our best foot forward for the team. That's what made us just that little bit different to others. Uh, I like to say I understand what, what we did but in total honesty like I'm still taking it in like I still talk about it to all my friends it's, it's crazy just knowing that I, I had a chance to be a part of that team and I'm completely grateful but I just think the magnitude of what we achieved that day was just I still haven't taken it in. We earned this. I haven't touched that one yet. Yes, sir. Charming, hold it, brother. Boys, well done. Um, I think we're all probably still getting down from the emotions of that game. Um, wasn't the prettiest, but you know, I, I think right until the end we stuck in. Okay, and we fought hard and some really good individual efforts throughout that game. We acknowledge that it wasn't easy at all. What I always had in the back of my mind is that we had the class. You know, for me, you know, I'm incredibly proud. Um, it will sink in very soon what we've achieved. Okay, it's been a long time coming, but we've bloody earned it. How's your hand? It's been bad, I'll say that much. Thank you. Good on you, honey. You Thank so you. deserve this. Congratulations. Good game. Mason. Thank you. Stoops. I'm so proud of you. Look at those kids. Which one? <laughs> Leave First it alone. One. Yeah. Have you been crying? No. A no. little bit. The victory is celebrated most profoundly through the network of BBC Old Boys. Just to finally see this and have the boys come through, I mean, it was massive. Old boys from all over the place were, were connecting and going out to lunches and watching the games at other people's places. It was yeah, it's phenomenal. You can't put a price on it. You can't put a measure on it. It goes right through the whole body of the school. They realise their significance. They'll realise their significance till the day they pass away. I've got mates from other schools and they too were very pleased that BBC won. We're all good coppers, even though we're, we're competitors, and they realise we've climbed the mountain, so now we're right. I think it uh, hopefully takes a bit of the weight off the back of the, the guys from 1954, um, and I think probably a bit of weight from the guys from the previous year, where they came so close, so I think a bit of redemption for them as well. I watch those boys play they're in a different league, really. Superb athletes, all of them. I'm glad we didn't have to play them. <laughs> they, they, we, we wouldn't have lasted 30 minutes. First and foremost, it set a standard. And I, I think that it will say to every boy who puts on a rugby jersey, I want to play in the first 15 at BBC.
<laughs> One, why the jelly brain? Why we get the jelly brain to do it? <laughs> How if you had one job? <laughs> I think you'll find there's a lot of guys who played rugby all their life to a wonderful level and have never won a premiership. To win a premiership at schoolboy level for the first time in 66 years is unheralded. It's an unbelievable outcome for BBC. and It's the product of four years of hard work. I've got to be honest that the, we were all terribly worried that we would extinguish our lives having never seen what happened today. Today, without a single shadow of a doubt, is one of the most momentous sporting achievements that BBC, in my opinion, has had, and us old collegians have witnessed. Momentous, in a word. Yeah, it was incredible, and the school has obviously worked, what is it, 120 years to get here? I've witnessed these boys work so hard, their coaches, the supporters, it's, it's huge, and it really is, like, it's part of history, all the old boys here, and it means so much to everyone. We had a proud history in rowing, we had a proud history in swimming. We've become a strong school in tennis, cross country, athletics. But the one elusive prize, the thing that we've never been able to secure in our living memory has been the rugby. A lot of BBC boys have been subjected to having the mickey taken out of them because they haven't won it for so many years. We can now go back and say, we're the premiers. This is the catalyst for something great to come. And BBC and all the old collegians and myself are proud. We're terribly proud. Rugby's probably the biggest GPS sport, and to win that in what has been a tough year, we beat every team. This whole year has been an uplifting moment, and if I talk a minute longer, I'm going to burst into tears. Despite the elation, the COVID-affected season has been challenging, with some families unable to attend matches, and games played in front of restricted crowds. So Hugo every week puts a special message on his wristband and last week I didn't realise. Then I was looking back through the photos and I saw as he was running on the field he was he kissed his wristband and you zoom in and it says dad and it was like oh it meant the world to his father and to all of us his two younger brothers and it's really special. In the blink of an eye, the last game of the season turns into the last day of the school year. BBC celebrates the contribution of the Year 12 seniors, who leave their own unique legacy across a range of different school pursuits. The Rugby Premiership is just one of many achievements that shine brightly in a year of lockdowns and cancellations. But as usual, school spirit finds a way through the adversity. It is not uncommon for BBC Old Boys to reflect on their school days as the best time of their lives. But this reflection is often made from the position of future years. For now, it is their time, and the school will remind them for years to come that their contribution will be forever remembered. Next time on The Season. This year we just want to be a good team, uh, better than last year. We've got the players to do that. It was a big motivation. The senior group of boys were just sick of it and we wanted to just make sure it was the last time. For more information on Brisbane Boys College, go to bbc.qld.edu.au.